Hello everyone. In this video, I will show integration Jenkins with KPLOG with our IDC protocol. In the previous video, I did this, but in this video, I will show how we can do growth mapping. I mean, in the scope of the access token, will be present growth key, and based on this growth key, of course, Jenkins can map which users under which role present and give access based on the these groups. So. Actually, inside of my Linux, where I'm working right now, I've started two containers, which we can see from this topology. Our Jenkins works in this IP address, our cake block here. All configuration which I did before, it's present, but I will show the important places where I changed some stuff. Let me switch to the plugins which I have installed before, cake block authentication plugin, first one. We can see it is installed. Another one, Matrix Authorization Strategy plugin. It is installed too. And Role Based Authorization Strategy plugin too. The Realm, which I have used before under Infra, I have I have client with the name Jenkins, which I configured before. But on the client scope, I added new mapper with the groups key. As we see, I configured it here. And on the client Jenkins, if we press this button, if you remember, I copied this in the previous time and pasted it on the configuration of the Jenk uh, Jenkins here. Yeah. Let me show the part which I have did here. Yeah. Under dashboard, manage Jenkins security, I selected under security realm K clock authentication plugin and paste this uh, JSON content here. Yeah. And under authorization, I choose role based strategy, apply and save. And we don't need this part. Under Dashboard, Manage Jenkins, Manage and Assign Roles, Manage Roles, I added two roles, Admin and Viewer, and selected here for the roles which permissions will be present. If, for example, under Admin role will present T01 user, it, is, it, it, it must get all permissions which we can do inside of Jenkins. But in case of Viewer role, which under Groups K will count this, only have this access. I mean, read, view, so we can see which I have selected actually. So if I will switch to the K clock part, uh, I showed you client scopes which I have configured group key under client scopes like as mapper. I I have which I have configured two roles, admin and viewer. And if I will select admin, we can see right now we have two users under this. Admin role. If I will switch back to the viewer, two users present inside of viewer role too. So even we need users K. Yeah, K. Just to be sure, I will add one of them. So we don't need this Jenkins part two. And the roles I showed you, I just pressed add button with the name, right role name, which I've configured inside of K clock and gave permissions to each of them. And under and assigned roles, as we see, I selected user group admin will map to the admin role which I have configured there, viewer will map to the viewer role which I have configured under manage roles which I have showed right now. And then I switch to the kick log. I will test firstly for a cock shot. This is IP address of the Jenkins with the aircock shot. I will do login. As we see, aircock shot don't have manage Jenkins button here. So it is simple user which it's it's present on the group viewer actually. That's why here we can see the button manage Jenkins. If I will do logout and login with T01. We 
see we can do anything here. But I will try to simulate from the scratch to see really which how it works, for example, for the Embra username. Right now, the Embra username will not present for none of them. I mean, if we check it again, the Embra not present on the viewer and the Embra not present on the admin. Oh, sorry, it's present on the admin. We must delete it from the role. The Embra. And if I will try to log in with the Embra again, we can see access denied because for none of them it's present. If I will try to add the Embra to viewer. Try to login again. We can see we have read all access. We cannot see button manager Jenkins. If we do log out and go back, to assign rule admin and login again. As we see, Manage Jenkins button present here. So that's it actually. I hope it will be useful.